Hello everyone, welcome back to Hate Plus. You might be wondering what the heck I'm doing because in the last episode, I finished the game. Well, there are multiple pathways through the game, and I only completed one of them. And while I do consider that my main playthrough, I guess you could say I consider that canon within my playthrough because it's... It's, it's what I chose personally. But I am curious what the other pathways are. So I'm going to explore them. Alright, I believe there are three main pathways through Hate Plus. I believe you can play with Hyane, as I did. And um, you can also play with Mute, which is what I'm about to do. And then you can also do the, I think it's called the Harem Route, <laughs> where you, um, you play with both. So I've already done Hyane. Now I'm going to play through it as uh, with Mute by my side, and then I'm going to play through it with both of them. And we'll see how that goes. So if you, in case you haven't seen, uh, if you haven't seen the previous videos, you're going to want to. Like if this is the first video you're seeing and you're, you want to see a full playthrough of the game, this is not going to be that. Because in my main playthrough, I read every single thing that there was to read. So I'm not actually going to be reading the text. Unless for some reason I want to go back and look at something again to, I don't know, make some connections or whatever. I don't know exactly how it's going to work out, but I'm definitely going to be ignoring most, if not all, of the text. So it's going to be very, it should be very quick. And yeah, it's not going to be like a full playthrough, so definitely go back and watch that if, if you want a full playthrough. This is for completionists that are curious how the game plays out in other ways. And people who are interested in getting a different character's perspective on the events. And I'm really curious what Mute has to say about all these events, because I never heard her word, her opinion about anything, at least not in the present. The only opinions of hers that I heard were ones that she had written in the past. Um, so yes, I believe if you start a new game, you get the choice of who you want to take with you. Let's find out. New? Incoming message. Hello? Message from Dispatch Control. Hey, I know you hate this kind of shit and prefer to stay anonymous. But the guys you did that last job for, the Saiju Colony Historical Society, are pestering me for some details about you for a press release. You can fill in whatever, I don't really care. Just give them something so they'll get off my case, okay? Okay, fair enough. I like that they're... I like that she's keeping this in... kind of in character, you know? It's nice. Which AI did you get the documents from? I... I think that means which one... Did you get the documents from? That's a weird way to phrase it, but I guess it's which one did you... Uh, which AI did you take with you? So that'd be Mute in this case, since we're doing her route. How would you describe her, atti her attitude towards you? Um, which, what should I go with? Uh, I, I don't... Even if I take Mute with me as flirty to begin with, she's not going to stay flirty, I don't think. Probably not. Um, friendly? I'm gonna go with friendly. Which, uh, what pronouns should we use for you? Um, well, I played he before, so I'll go with he. I, I might even come back and play as a female to see how that goes. But for now, I'm gonna play through all the three main forks as me, a male. If you had to choose, which year would you rather live in? That's a strange question. Um, well, not 1988, that's for sure. 2027 is probably pretty good. 4989. Uh, I'm trying to remember exactly when the year zero thing happened. I have a terrible memory, though, so I can't. Uh, let's go with 2027. That's fine. Okay, great. And that's all of it. I'll send it off to them now. You're still, what, three days or so away from Earth? I'll talk to you then. Dispatch Control out. And the color scheme has changed completely. Security Assistant Mute. I'm upgrading myself with the English to Korean dictionary you got me. Should only take a few minutes. And we have one unread message, so it should be all the same. Probably. Let's just check. Hard shell inquiry. Yep, that's about purchasing the robotic body. Yep. 
Alright, so yeah, not gonna read that. Already read it all. Um, it's interesting that this color scheme is different. It's neat. Wait a minute. Wait, have I read this these things before? Emperor Ryu, Mute Records Office, Minister Tay. Quit. Hold on, maybe. Have I read these before? My Awakening, Mute. Okay, okay, what the hell's going on? Were my first words? I'm sorry, I've suffered a massive system error. The sh. Wait a minute, you get. Do you get different documents if you play as a different character? Okay. I thought I wasn't going to be reading anything, but never mind. Holy crap. Okay. Well, uh, look at these dates. Year 10, year 10, year 10. So these are all from... Um, after the, the reset. Year 10. So 10 years after the reset. Alright, well, let's go for that one. Wow, okay, I really was not expecting there to be any new documents. Okay, from my internal logs, 5.13pm in Queen Consort Oyana's study. Pia I, I don't know how to pronounce it. Piani? Something like that. Imperial Palace. Earliest known time. Okay, okay, what the hell is going on? Were my first words. I'm sorry, I've suffered a massive system error. Among many other things, the ship personal uh, personnel database seems to be missing. I have no idea who the hell you are. She's all yours, said the man I would later learn Later learn was the Emperor. Do with her whatever you want. She's your responsibility now. Thank you, sir, said an extremely ornately dressed woman. The Emperor left the room without saying anything more. It's so good to hear your voice again. I'm Queen Yana. How much do you remember, Mute? Okay, so this is, just to put this into context, I believe this is her uh, being woken up after she's had her memory wiped. Yeah, it must be. Uh, like, nothing, your majesty. I know my name is Mute, that this is the Magungwa, a generation ship, and that I'm supposed to be the AI in charge of security operations. I recited the base directives that I did know. Then things I'd extrapolated. The default system language has been changed. My user account has stripped permissions. The system clock indicates a date significantly earlier than the launch date of the ship. And despite being long out of range of Earth, there only seems to be 10 years worth of log files available. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm kind of scared right now. Panicking, even, I admitted. She let out a slight laugh. Sorry, but how does a computer panic? At that moment, I was running at 600% CPU load, at a minor risk of overheating, trying to analyze the little amount of data available and draw conclusions. I told her as much. How many years has the Magungwa been traveling? Was I activated before? I asked. I'm sorry, I can't answer that first question. But yes, dear, you were. It's painful to see you like this. You were a friend of mine, she said, looking slightly emotional. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? You were a friend of mine? Fuck you, Yana. Piece of shit. Uh, hey, don't... Uh, I'll just get to know you again, that's all. I'm sure I'm still the same as I was before. It's my memory that's gone, not my actual code. I told her. I couldn't tell if I was any good at being reassuring or not. In a... Th in a uh, stray thread, not worrying about analyzing ship logs, I wondered, was this normal? Was I ever any good at reassuring this woman who was supposed to be my friend? It's okay. We can be friends again. She smiled at me. If you say so, I'm sure of it too. She said, there was a rebellion ten years ago. They ended up wiping the entire computer database. I'm afraid you were one of their victims. Okay, I said, trying to parse that. If I was the security AI whose job it was to protect the ship, then that would certainly be a failure on my part. We couldn't risk bringing you back until the rebellion had been completely crushed, you have to understand. There's something foreign embedded in your code. The men in security feared it might be a virus. She trailed off, looking emotional again. I didn't want to wait, but we had no choice. It's okay, it's okay, I told her. I'm sure it was the right call. I'm here now. I had another conclusion, though. I wasn't a priority because of my previous failure. I had let the ship down, and nobody had faith in my abilities anymore. It seemed logical. You'll just have to teach me everything I don't know about what's happened to the ship. 
I told her, smiling in the hopes that she would too. You're right, she said, and she did smile. Then she gave me a look. By the way, is that your default appearance right now? Can it be changed? Yeah, it's default, and of course I can. Why, what's, what's wrong with the UKSPA uniform? I asked. Well, it's simply, well, for a woman to wear pants like that, it's improper, she said. It's somewhat of an embarrassing relic of an uncivilized past. Personally, I know you're a good woman, but there are many who would find that very embarrassing. Oh, I said, uh, okay, that's good to know. I guess I've got a lot to learn, huh? Like, I really hope you'll bear with me. She smiled kindly at me. Of course. Mute, I'll teach you how you should be. It's the least I can do for an old friend. I eased up on the CPU load, calming down with the reassurance. With her here for me, maybe things will be okay, I thought to myself. Oh god, how wrong she was, wow. Okay, so she left something in her code for her to find. I wonder when she's going to find it. Obviously she has not found it yet. Because in that code, she, in that little, bits of, uh, the little bit of code, she describes what happened. Hmm. So have you come back up yet? Mute? Nope. Alright, let's keep going. Um, should we just go back? Yeah, let's go back to the earliest. 1-1-year-1. One, one, one. Well, let's do that one. Anyone can tell that we live in troubled times, and as of late, things have gone out of control. Last night, a rogue element of the security force attempted a coup... I still don't know how to pronounce it. Coup... Dia... Whatever. To violently overthrow the current government. While they have failed in their mutiny and the men responsible have been arrested, the damage has already been done. The entire knowledge of the ship's database has been destroyed forever in a desperate act of terrorism. And it may take years for the computer system to be usable for all again. By the way, it's possible I've read maybe some of these, but I just don't remember. I don't know. I have a seriously terrible memory, so... If I'm rereading stuff, I'm sorry. I don't feel like I've read this, though. We have been hurt deeply today, but these events remind me of similar ones in the past. Where a politician tried to subvert the will of the people by rigging an election. These aren't small, isolated problems. There's something fundamentally wrong with our society today. And every one of us, even these those foolish terrorists, are victims. It's time to stop being victims of our own feelings. It's time that we do better, that we must do better. We are all here, today, people of the Magungwa, because of a mission our ancestors started, a dream of a better home in the future for our children. What would they think to see us now, our society spiraling out of control, destroying itself like this? We have become a socially dominated, uh, we become a society dominated by power lust, greed, and promiscuity. It's time to stop living in the moment, time to stop worrying about politics, politics, and instead worry about being better people. We must build a society that would make our ancestors proud. The destruction of our old writing is a tragedy, but perhaps it is also an opportunity, a blank slate from which we can forget all our failings and start over. Let's make society right this time. Let's forget all those things that modern society has falsely said are important and remember that family, loyalty, compassion, and stability matter above all else. Our society today pales in comparison to our glorious past, where men were so great they had the power to build giant ships to travel the stars. But perhaps we could look back to them and learn from their traditions that we've askewed. Our broken, modern society wrote transient ideas on malleable computers in simple... I, I don't know what that is. Hangul? But in the past, our ancestors wrote their texts to last forever on paper, in beautiful ink strokes. Today, we've learned just how easy it is for our modern knowledge to be destroyed. Yet the library of our ancestors' classic works still stands strong, much stronger than ours. Let's fill our blank slate with the resilient I ideals of our ancestors. In the past, when society was broken, the great King... Taijo? Taicho? Ta I I'm gonna go with Taijo. Taijo declared a new dynasty founded on Confucian principles. A, dy a dynast or dynasty or dynasty? I can't remember. Whatever. That would remain united for 500 unbroken years. Today, I stand before you to declare a new dy dynasty. I'm going to go with dynasty. Founded on those same resilient principles. Let us be filial and just. 
and understand what that truly means. Instead of pursuing money, let us dedicate ourselves to becoming better people. Instead of being promiscuous, let us dedicate ourselves to being parents. Instead of being selfish, let us remember that the thing that defines us above all else are, are our relationships. We must be better husbands and fathers. Be more devoted sons, be more respectful brothers, instead of constantly grasping for more power. Let us dedicate ourselves to finding our place in the world and being the best at it that we can be. I will only ask one more thing of you, and you should ask it from me too. Let us devote ourselves to creating a society that will make our ancestors proud again. Let us create a better home in the future for our children. Let us create a new Josian dynasty. Dynasty. Whatever. <laughs> to last 500 more years. I have a better idea, Ryu. How about you go fuck yourself? Unfortunately, he can't because he's been dead for hundreds or thousands of years. But oh well. Alright, which... I'm, I'm so excited that there's actually new text to read. I didn't think there would be. Royal Wedding. These don't look familiar. Oh, what's the next one? 1-1, one, one, year 1, year 1. Oh, this is early. Yeah, let's go with this one. Royal Wedding. Yeah, I'm almost certain I have not read these. Rough outline of the report. Please edit to remove any negative remarks or any vulgarities that may have slipped in. It was incredibly challenging for the Ministry getting such an elaborate ceremony together on short notice. But I'm pretty... But I'm pretty proud to say that... Uh, the bulk of the royal wedding has gone successfully. All that remains for the ceremony is for the bride to be presented to the Ryu Ancestral Temple, which, thanks to the negligence of the Ministry of State, still hasn't actually finished, con finished construction yet. But that one isn't on us. The most publicly visible element of the wedding, the induction of the bride by the groom into his home, definitely ended up drawing the crowd we were anticipating. Although I have to admit, that awful fucking computer girl would have handled policing the peasants um, policing the peasants who were there a lot better than whoever the current officer was. And with the peasant class barred from using computers, it's basically a miracle we managed to actually reach as many of them as we did. Even then, I don't think the full weight of how radically different the Confucianized ceremony was really sank in with them. This isn't unexpected, though, as far as I can tell from the reference material that's available in paper books. Even our ancestors in the original Josian dynasty had a hell of a time educating people on that matter. And thanks to what we know, we're off to a strong start in trying to uh, emulate them. Regardless, there was a wide range of people in attendance, from peasants to beauties like Hyo A. Chong and her cute little sister um, to former Chief Counselor Smith. And I have no doubt that between the procession and the fabulous traditional royal attire on display, we've made every one of those spectators dream of having a wedding like that. Although I do worry about our historical accuracy when it comes to details like the outfits, anything with photographs in it was lost thanks to that damned traitorous Hyo Xiao. By the way, I've been pronouncing your name Xiao Young. I think it might be Yong. It's Yong just sounds better, doesn't it? Hyo Xiao Yong. That sounds better. I'm sure I'm gonna pronounce it like a million different ways. Sorry, I, I just I can't help it. Anything with photographs in it was lost thanks to that damn traitorous Hyo So Young and her attempted rebellion's total computer wipe, but hopefully our ancestors will forgive any imperfections and instead be happy about at least getting the important parts of the ceremony right. Now only time will tell whether it will be enough for the Imperial family to lead by example when it comes to promoting proper Confucian weddings. Or if it will require further work to finally kill the last corrupt dynasty's tradition of devaluing the groom's importance. If we're going to get the values that we founded this di dynasty on right, then it's absolutely, com completely, and utterly imperative that we get them right, starting with marriage. I don't think you can be stressed enough just how important promoting proper marriage here is. It's the foundation of adulthood, one of the most fundamental of relationships, and the basic unit on which families are built. And if even nobles don't get how destructive practices that completely skew the dynamic of the relationship, like for instance the popular occurrence of a groom moving into the bride's home, can be, then we've got a serious problem. Really though, time will tell whether that continues to be a problem or not. But as for the ceremony itself, especially the induction of the Queen Consort into the Imperial Palace, it was absolutely gorgeous and powerful and wide-reaching to the people of the Magungwa. And ancestors willing, it'll be damned well inspiring too. You know, now that I've finished the game, 
I want to tell every single person that I've been reading about so far to go fuck themselves. I hate these people so much. Alright, what's next? Year one, year one. So let's go to year ten. Funeral for a rebel. Let's go with that one. By Queen Oyana. Today, the former chief security officer of the Magangwa, Hyo So Young, passed away by her own hand. Wait, by her own hand? Yeah, what? By her own. She killed herself? I personally feel uncomfortable making royal pro proclamations, but the Emperor felt that to comment on such a difficult and tragic woman as her, it would only be appropriate for me to speak. Still, I write these words only very reluctantly. I don't mean to defend her. Her actions were beyond reprehensible, and she thoroughly deserves the title of traitor. But I think it's important that we try to rationally understand what would create such a woman to learn from her mistakes and not fall victim to them ourselves. Miss Hyo was not always a bad person. On the occasions I met her, she was a courteous and respectful person to everyone. She was as devoted to her husband as she could be, and a caring mother to her daughter. But as so many women of her time were, she was burdened with far, far too much responsibility, putting long hours into serving the Counselor of Security and being responsible for hundreds of men under her. Furthermore, she was a woman who had a compulsive emotional need to always be in control, encouraged by her job requiring a great deal of management on her part. We can only imagine how stressful that must have been to have split her devotion to two opposing responsibilities like that. Once again, I have the extremely strong urge to tell everyone I've been reading, go fuck themselves, you know? Go fuck yourself. You piece of shit. She's such a fucking liar. It's no wonder that a woman who was already so fragile broke when her husband died. <laughs> husband died. Her husband was murdered. He was the most important person on the entire ship in her eyes. No, he wasn't, actually. That was mute. And she loved him with as much devotion as any wife should. <laughs> should. It's only natural she was devastated. Without her husband there to keep her grounded, she retreated from domestic life entirely. Tragically, her obsession with control meant that she felt responsible. I can't imagine how miserable it would have been for her, unable to cope, slowly descending into a madness to desire control beyond her means. She held strong opinions about politics, and as so many people of that time did, I will confess there was a time when even I thought it was my place to care about such things, and felt as though if only things were run that way, uh, the way she wanted them to be, it would be better. I still don't think she should be blamed even for that. She was traumatized, she was traumatized after all. Few others have such an excuse for feeling like they should worry about these things that are far out of their place. Wow. There was a time when even I thought it was my place to care about such things. Just any any variant of that phrase, the my place, you know, know your place, my place, out of... I thought it was my place, any variant of that, know your place, is really f disgusting. I hate that phrase so much. Know your place. It's just disturbing. The one, thing, the one thing she did have control over, however, were her security men, but she wanted more. She let sorrow turn to ambition, and in the chaos of her attempted coup, her ambition caused extraordinary devastation to our computer system before she was brought under control. I won't dwell on the details of that night, but we all know them well. It's not what's important. Right, she's blaming uh, Hyo Seo Young for blowing up things. In reality, that was them. You piece of shit. <sighs> What's important is to understand that by doing that, that woman's pursuit of ambition caused her to fail in all the things she was entrusted with. She failed in her duty to redirect superior mute, her actions resulting in her death in the end. <laughs> she failed in her duty as a mother, unable to care for her poor fatherless daughter from prison. And worst of all, she failed her husband. Her insistence on unnecessarily having a prominent high-status job <laughs> meant she made him a target of danger and meant she had no time to be good wife. 
Instead, she went down out to a path, uh, down a path that led to unhappiness and self-destruction. If only she'd been educated better. If only she'd been raised in a better society. Perhaps we'd all be better off. When I look at Hyoso Young, I don't think of her as a malicious traitor, but as a pitiable woman who forced herself into a position that just wasn't in her nature and couldn't handle it. But she was not a bad person. She did bad things, but she was not a bad person. In the end, she realized the ills of her ways, but in taking her own life, she has brought some measure of dignity back to her family name. It takes braveness to do that, so today I will admire her for being a woman who was a who was able to admit her faults in the end, and I will endeavor to be more like that. We all should. Fuck. Reading that message leaves me as such a mixture of sadness and anger. I am so fucking pissed at Oyana for her bullshit and her lies and her disgusting, disgusting ideas and lies and just, oh my god. God, she's a terrible person. And also, I'm really sad because now I know what happened to Hyo So Young. She was put into prison and she killed herself. Her husband, who she cared about, she cared about her husband. But he was not the most important thing in her life. But nonetheless, she cared about her husband and her husband was murdered. Her husband was gone. And then, she... So, well, I mean, did she fail at the rebellion or was it mute? I mean, I don't know. I guess they both kind of failed at the rebellion. Depending on how you look at it. Um, but yeah, she tried to do... Uh, she tried to carry out the rebellion with mute. That didn't go well. And then mute was wiped. Mute was the person she cared about the most. Mute was the person she loved. So she basically lost everything. She lost her husband. She lost Mute. She lost her freedom. She was put in jail. And she killed herself. God damn it, I wasn't expecting there to be tragedy on the very first day when I come back on a different playthrough. Oh, I almost wish I didn't read this. Because we're left off, I had no idea what happened to her, but now I know, and it's horrible. She killed herself. Fuck. <sighs> God. Poor Ho So Hyo So Young. Okay. <sighs> Let's move on to the next one. <laughs> We're getting right back deep and down into the tragedy. Woohoo! Alright, what's next? Year 10. Alright, there's more year 10. 7, 7. Let's go with this. Right? Uh, no, actually, whoa, this is older. The Board of Ministers. Whoops. His Imperial Majesty Ryu. Gentlemen, before we get started, I want to introduce a from reintroduce a familiar face. Please, introduce yourself. Wait, hold on. How long is this after, um... My Awakening? Wait a minute, that was before My Awakening? Yeah, look at that. This is before. What the hell is going on? I'm sorry I've suffered a massive system error. I... I'm confused. It sounds like she was first awoken during the other message, but the other message was written after this one where she's introducing herself. Weird. Uh, hello, I'm Mute, AI in charge of the Mugungwa's security operations. I know you all knew me before, but, well, given the whole rebellion thing, I'm afraid I don't really have any memories of before, so you're all new to me. Uh, anyway, it's nice to meet you all. Yang, well, you look a lot better than you did before. Tay. Please, consider yourself lucky, Mute. You have a new start. For a new dynasty. We didn't always see eye-to-eye -eye in the past. I imagine we are all happy to have a chance to put things right. Mute. Okay, thanks. Ryu. Mute reports directly to me, and should be considered a member of the House of Ryu. 
She'll be tasked with gathering intelligence and managing security, without any of her talents being wasted on affairs like politics. It may help to think of the entire ship as being within her domestic sphere. Han, glad to hear it. Ryu, with that out of the way, on the agenda for today is the proposal from Minister Smith on plaza revitalization. You have the floor. Smith. Thank you. As you know, there's still a considerable problem with the image of the plaza. There are issues with public drunkenness, pleasantry milling about in all hours of the night, and even whoring. Minister Tay has raised concerns that tacit condoning of the sort of behavior flies against the principles of the of this dynasty was founded on, and I imagine you're inclined to agree. Ryu, very much so. Tay. Uh, we really need to make a hard stand on it. I mean, the plaza is the center of public life, so it's important that it sets an example. Smith. Their proposal is to set a curfew and reallocate guards to enforce it. To that end, I am requesting two extra patrols for each division. Is that agreeable? Ryu. And this would be your purview, Mute? Mute. Oh, uh, if His Majesty approves of it, of course, sir. It'd be difficult, though. Like, it'd take away lots of forces that would ordinarily be dealing with a peasant dex. Ryu. I'll worry about approval. It's just your job to give Minister Smith what he needs. Smith. I'll need you to deliver a proposal for, re for reallocation by the end of the week. Mute. Do you have any objections to that? Mute. No, of course not, sir. You can count on me. Smith. And that's all for me, then. Ryu, moving on, then. Okay, I don't understand that. I, it's, it seems like she's being awoken for the first time here, but maybe this is just a couple days, like four days after the last one? Seems weird, though. Hmm. Okay. What's next? Alright. Got four more. Well, let's go for this. Weekly writing assignment, Prince... Uh, Princess Ryu. Today, well, that'd be... Wait, 718... Alright. Today I met Mute, the girl in the computer that all the servants have been talking about. She's really cool. She looks like a younger version of Mom. And she always dresses dresses just as fancy. When I asked her, though, she said that she'd actually, uh, she's actually supposed to look like a grown-up version of me. I really hope I do look like that when I grow up. She helped me a little uh, to write this. I did most of it, though. She said that my homework sounded like good practice. She also said that she could use the practice too. Even a computer girl has trouble learning how to read, not just me. She knows way more characters than I do, but she says even she has trouble with it. It makes me feel a lot better. I really like her and I hope I get to talk to her more. She was really patient with me, and not just because mom ordered her to, unlike you and all the other servants. She told me she's only nice to people if she likes them, so I think we could really be friends. It would be really nice to have a friend. Mom says I can talk to her about anything, but she never listens. I know she's your queen and you're not allowed to say anything bad about her. But I don't think she's a very good mother. Anyway, I've almost finished writing a page now. I can't think of anything else to say. Writing is stupid and I don't think I'm ever going to learn all 4,000 characters. This is really hard. I want to stop now. Bye. <laughs> this is really hard. I want to stop now. Bye. Oh, that's an interesting way to end it. Alright, three more. First midday report from Mute. This is a very early report, um, very early on after she was woken up. This is going to be a regular daily thing, because it really should be, having a record of this is pretty important, especially if you're worried about patterns. Reactor status, nominal, 99% efficiency. Temperature, approximately 21.0 degrees centigrees. Uh, centigrees. I've, I've invented something new. 21.0 centigrees. 21.0 degrees centigrade. There we go. Within 0.1 degrees centigrade. Okay. Centigrees. <laughs> Two births recorded. At 23.30 last night to Kim Hai Ra. At 1.27 to Huang Chiwan. 
The market opened today at 9. Foot traffic on the plaza at noon was 1,292 people. Slightly below expectations, seven arrests were made, mostly for failing to submit to random inspection. And that's it. Alright. This one and then that one. Sneaking out at night by Mute. <clears throat> Transcript of a conversation held with Chief Security Officer Hyo. Pardon me, sir. Can I take up a moment of your time? Okay, thanks. I'm not really sure how to deal with something. I caught Officer Hyo Song Bak sneaking out of the palace at night. Oh, uh, he's one of the Princess's Royal Guards. He was off duty at the time, and I caught him after he'd been waved through the side gate. I don't know who waved him through without authorization, since, you know, my cameras are pretty high angle, and those hats that are part of the uniform make it pretty much impossible to see faces. I assume it's whoever was on duty, though. Anyway. I caught Xiong Bok as he was on his way back in. He waved at some peasant-looking young man out in the corridor. The uh, This incident occurred at, like, 4 a.m. So if he really was a peasant, it was totally past curfew, I may add. After that guy left, Xiong Bok was alone in the corridor, so I popped up on the nearby screens. Whoa, he said, nearly jumping. Is that... mute? Yeah, it's me, I told him. You... you... You look really different, ma'am, he stammered, and, uh, I thought you were dead. I got kind of awkward, as one does when you're talking to someone who recognizes you, but you don't recognize them. And also, you've had your whole memory wiped. Uh, well, I'm not anymore, I said. I got brought back. I'm sorry, you are... Officer Hyo, Hyo Songbok? Have we met before? Uh, yes, ma'am, a couple times, when you were older, I guess. I mean, not much. We weren't friends or anything. You just happened to be around when I was talking to Xiao Yi. He stopped and then apologized before he could finish saying her name. And then just said, the old chief security officer. Yeah, I know. No, I know that it's taboo to mention her name. I was just saying. Were you outside the palace, I asked. Who was that man? Oh, uh, just a friend, he said. I should get back inside now. It's nice to see you're alive, ma'am. I don't know. He didn't seem like a friend to me. Even going past the whole peasant thing, it's not... Yeah, exactly. Oh. Oh, uh, okay. If you say so, really? I didn't know... Um, I didn't know that was the thing men did. I guess you learn something new every day. Um, anyway, still. I figure he shouldn't be sneaking out in the middle of the night. Yeah, I don't want the uh, princess's royal guards to be sleep-deprived. Pretty sure the kid deserves a lot better than that. I don't know if it's a disciplinary matter or not, and I didn't really want him to get a dressing down from a woman because it's not really appropriate, but yeah, okay. Thanks, I appreciate that. Okay, bye for now. Hmm. Alright, girl talk from Mute. Last one, and that is five years, about, after the last one. From my internal logs, 5.57pm in the Morning Air Garden Western House Imperial Palace. Since no one else would do it, I've had to take on the task of calming down my mistress's daughter myself. Nobody else is sympathetic. She's just a 15-year-old woman. Do they really expect her to not have moods like that? Apparently all the maids are too scared to bring her dinner while she's in one of her crying fits. What a useless bunch of women. Too bad the Queen won't do anything to keep them in line. Hey, Your Highness, I called out from the garden computer screen. It's mute. Do you want to talk? She shouted at me, facing the other way. No, you're just here to convince me to go along with Mom, aren't you? You've been conspiring with her, I'm sure. Don't shout at me. I just heard you were upset, I said. If it's trouble with your mother, let's talk about it, okay? Like, have I ever not listened to you before? Don't give me that. She turned to face the screen. Her eyes were wet. Her hair was a mess, and I could tell that she'd ruined her sleeves by crying into them. Poor girl. Sorry, she sniffled. I told her it was okay. And when I asked again what was wrong, she told me. Mom wants me to get married to some old guy. All the maids have been talking about it behind my back. There was some gross old minister here yesterday, and he wanted me. But nobody will tell me anything because they're afraid of me. Ah, oh, honey, no. You've got it all wrong, I told her. Like, he approached her. Your mom said no. You're not going to get married to some gross old man if you don't want to, I promise. Then why hasn't she said anything to me, she asked. 
because she's been too busy spending the past two hours with her usual pastime of staring at a wall, was what I didn't say to her. Like, I don't know what's wrong with the Queen, but I've been trying to downplay it so nobody starts spreading rumors. Telling her daughter isn't going to help with that. I hate people who beat around the bush about things, but for her, I'll make an exception. She worries, okay? You can be pretty hard to talk to sometimes, you know? I said. That much was completely true. But, like, nobody wants to pressure you. It's true that your mom has started looking for candidates, but it's only because she cares about you. You have to go through the gross ones in order to find someone worthwhile, you know? She sniffled more. I gestured for her to come over, and she, uh, she put her hand on the screen like she did when she was a kid. I rendered my own hand, touching hers. What if I don't want to, she said, wiping her tears with her sleeve. Her very expensive embroidered sleeve. Don't you want to? I asked, knowing she didn't mean it. I mean, like, you don't want to live in the palace forever, do you? Would you really find that fulfilling? Well, I don't know, she trailed off. Oh, come on. Don't think of gross old men. You should think of the type you'd like, I told her. Come on, tell me. What sort of men do you like? She hadn't sniffled in a good minute, and she blushed at the question, which was a good sign, because it meant she was actually thinking about it. She murmured something non-committal. Uh, how about someone like that royal guard Hyo? Young-looking and wide-shouldered and strong, carrying you out of the palace and into the world, I suggested. Oh, well, maybe. Actually... But I'd like someone who could also... We spent about ten more minutes talking, then she was calm enough to go yell at the maids for not bringing her dinner. Then we talked about it some more. I think I personally now have a very, a very good idea of exactly what sort of things that little woman likes in a man. I was pretty surprised by a lot of them, but hey, so long it's got her in a positive mood. She also likely learned a lot about what I have come to find attractive in men since I was turned back on five years ago. But I'm going to admit those from my logs forever. And definitely won't discuss it with anyone else. Okay, now why don't you tell your mom what you told me? I told her afterwards. How else will she uh, find you someone perfect if you don't talk to her? Yeah, I suppose you're right, she said. She said goodbye to me and went off to go find her mother. I feel pretty pow proud of myself for dealing with that. Now I'm going to dedicate my processing time to finding a way to put those awful maids back in their place because, well, really now. <laughs> Alright, that was the last one. Hello, Mute. How are you doing? Uh, I am so sorry, but I have some bad news. What's that? And this is my fault, but if you're saying anything right now... Oh, okay. <laughs> right, it's the same thing as before with Hyun-A. So I tried installing a dictionary, so kindly got for me, but yeah, it just kind of broke things completely. Yep. Something very confusing about the virtual machine you're running me in. Like, the builds that should have worked kept responding with architecture not supported and trying to real and trying to rebuild my language processing, well, I don't know. There's something completely wrong with the dependency chain. And now it just doesn't work at all. I think that's exactly what Hyane said. I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, thank heaven, since that's not handled AI side, but uh, English to Korean doesn't work at all for me. Right, yeah, that's what Hyane said. Yep. You generously take me back into your ship as your wife, then the first thing I do is break everything. Please forgive me? You're forgiven, don't worry. Thanks. I knew there was a reason why I liked you. You're very fair. Well, we're only three days away from Earth, so I guess it'll be okay to wait until it can be fixed there. Uh, anyway, like, there's something else. While I was looking at my source code, trying to figure out how to fix things, I found some embedded data that definitely should not be there at all. Like, not actual memories, just data embedded in the machine code. I never would have found it without doing a low-level debug. Anyway, okay, here's the important thing. They seem to correspond perfectly with the file format used for the log files on the Magungwa. But like the timestamps, they're all from before the year zero. And do you realize what this means? There's log files from before the year zero embedded in my source code. I mean, you've read about my earliest memories. You know how nobody ever really trusted me with the full story of what happened. But you know, the Magungwa's gone now. There's no harm in me knowing, and, like, I think it's important. So, uh, what if, like, we went through them all together, just husband and wife? Wait, wait, why? Why did she... 
I just realized she thinks I'm her husband. Why? Why? <laughs> Why does she think I'm her husband? Uh, when I was selecting her attitude towards me, I selected friendly. Not flirty. Hmm. Um... Well, I'm pretty sure I'm going to disagree with a lot of her opinions, so we'll see how this marriage goes. Apparently she's my... Wife. Okay. Uh, it's kind of weird because I don't really like Mute all that much. So... I mean, I kind of like her? I get where she's coming from now that I know what she's been through. But we disagree on a lot of things. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, uh, let's find out what kind of person the old me used to be together, okay? Okay. Thanks. Uh, sorry about the railroaded choice there. It's just, like, really, really important to me. Fair enough. If you see some of the messages titles in there, you'd understand. I always stood by and respected the decision of my first master, Emperor Taiju. And that I shouldn't worry myself with knowing the details of how bad the old dynasty was. But, like, there's not much risk of my... Emotions getting the better of me now, is there? Even if it's gross, even if the old version of me turns out to be an awful person, even if the immorality of the old dynasty is appalling. Let's find out about it together, okay? I'm sure with a husband like you at my side, I'll be able to handle it. Um, oh boy, she's in for quite a ride. I, I think I'm going to make things worse. Because we're going to read some things that she's going to find repugnant. And I'm going to love them. And she's going to hate them. So I, I'm i going to... I'm not going to be a very supportive husband. Yeah. Okay, so here's how it works. Do you want the technical explanation? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's nothing new, but let's just click through it just in case there is. Yep, you can make co copies. Uh, can't. Yep. Too conservative. Yeah, I have to turn her off and then get the stuff. Okay, yeah, yeah. Same as before. Okay. Yep. Page of once you'll read first. Let's find out what Emperor Taijo was predicting me from and what kind of person I used to be. Okay. Here we go. Let's go ahead and save the game. Alright, so I'm assuming all of the messages are exactly the same, right? Yep, yep, yep. You know, am I crazy or does this font look blurry? It looks... It all looks very blurry to me. I can read it, but it just looks oddly blurry. I don't know, maybe my vision's just going. <laughs> I don't know. Um, anyway. Okay, well, I'm not going to read them fully, but I am curious what her opinions on them are, so I'm not sure exactly how that's going to work, but... Uh, let's just go with M1. I'm not even really looking at what they're about, I'm just grabbing all the M1 to begin with, and, uh... Yeah. Some of these are going to be so fun to read with her. Like the fuck, uh, fuck Hyo family gatherings. The one where he meets Mimi. Oh my god, that's going to be amazing. Hyo Seong Bok. It's his name I keep freaking forgetting. Hyo Song Bok. Hyo Seong Bok. Hyo Seong Bok. Must remember. Okay. Uh, hey, sir. Can you click on me? Sure. Let me guess, you're just testing it, right? Just like Yane? Oh, no, 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 this isn't that. Uh, hey, and did you see that last one? The Death of Mute? Yep. It's encrypted, so I don't think we'll be able to read it today, but... Well, like... It kind of scares me a little. Also, uh, by the way, I changed the name fields on all of them that said Mute to Old Mute, just so there's no confusion with me, okay? Alright, fair enough. Right, well, I was just making sure I got your attention. The next time I want to say something to you, I'll give you an indicator like that, okay? Anyway, you're the man, so I'll let you get back to it. 
What's next? Wait, I just realized what she said. You're the man, so I'll let you get back to it. D did she mean like you, like you demand, or like you are the man, and the man is the man's place to do the work, or? Uh, I don't know. Anyway, let's read them. Well, actually, let's not read them. Let's kind of read them and see her d her reaction. I do want to refresh my mind on what they are, though. But I'm not going to read them fully. 42, 42, 38, 38, 38, 38. Uh, let's go with that. Old Mute. Alright. So, yeah. How am I going to do this? I don't want to read the whole thing, but I do remember what it was about. Let's crush a rebellion. Want to crush a rebellion? Can we actually do that? Uh, these democracy ag agitators have been causing no end of stress for the past, what, two years? I bet they're the cause of this gray hair. She paused, taking a sip of her tea. Can we destroy them? Please, please. Okay. Now I remember what that was. So yeah, they should be super quick at, at this point. Uh, just go for this. What was this? She's an AI. There, there's no excuse for leaving men waiting like that. Oh, is this the one where she, um... Yeah, a whole half hour for her to finally show up on her private room screen. That's the one where... Um... Uh, old Mute. <laughs> took a half hour to show up on Smith's screen. Yeah, see, this is... It's comments like this that are going to drive us apart. There's no excuse for leaving men waiting like that. Yeah. We're going to disagree on a lot of things. I don't know if I actually have to scroll through the whole thing. Because I already know what this is about. Uh, can I just... Re I can't believe how rude old Mute is. She was pretty rude, actually. <laughs> Banditry on the Magungwa. Rude, yep, yep. She was pretty rude. Of course she's chatty. It's just part of her nature. I don't know if I should scroll through. Xiaon Su, as in the first emperor. I don't even know what you're talking about. Yeah, so this is going to be kind of awkward to get through. Because I, I, I've already read it, but she's offering a different perspective on it. But I have to kind of slowly scroll through it and then figure out what she's talking about. Hyun Su, where do, where do they mention Hyun Su? Oh yeah, him. Okay. Song Bok, election night. Is dad logic a pejorative? How unfilial. Seriously, mute. All right. Right, that's the one where he was off guard duty, right? Yep. Oh yeah, that's the that's the one where he tried to deliver the bottle of wine, right? But the professor was busy. Yeah, the professor was busy. Um, and she was out somewhere else. And then he goes down to talk to her. Right? Wow, women working really are as emotional as you think. Yeah, this is not going to be a happy marriage between me and Mute. Mute, you are bringing, you are reminding me of exactly why I didn't like you that much. So he tries to deliver it. And she tells him you should get a whip weapons permit, right? Yeah. Okay. You know, I'm going to save the Fuck Hyo family gatherings for last, because that one's going to be so fun to read. Elegance in her cat-like grin. What was that about again? It's still shocking that, like, she was responsible for putting the first emperor into power. Alright, what was that cat-like grin? Uh, what's up with this tone? What tone? Oh, is that, uh, she's talking to Mute, right? 
Yeah, 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 yeah. What's up with this tone? Wait, did Xiao Yang look on old mute like a husband? Yep. So, well, I, yeah, I guess. Well, they, they were in love with each other. Or at least, I mean, Xiao Yang was definitely in love with mute. Whether mute was in love with her, I, probably, almost certainly. I don't think she ever explicitly expressed it, but I'm pretty sure she was. Yeah. Alright, daily report. How unprofessional. My cruel boss is making me write these things. She's not me, okay? Old Mute was counselor of security, but, like, she's practically a different person. Yeah, I mean, she basically is a different person. Yes, yes, very unprofessional. 1600 years, wow, that's... I can't even. Well, like, at least she didn't take nonsense from women. Uh, old Mute didn't take nonsense from anyone. That is for damn sure. Okay, this is gonna be fun. What do you think of this, Mute? Like, even in a retrograde family, this disrespect disrespectful attitude is inexcusable. Uh-huh. Now wait till we get to the part where he comes across the, uh, the maid, who isn't actually a maid, Mimi, playing cards practically naked with the professor. Yep, sure is. Come on, what are you gonna say, Mute? Come on! Oh, she's gonna have a lot to say about this. Who is this base woman, and why is she in her, in their home? Are you talking about Mimi? Yeah, I know how the story ends. Do you? What? Of course knowing the classics is important. Oh jeez, I can't... I guess I can't blame him with a wife like that, though. Wow, can't blame him with a wife like that. That's... You're a wonderful person, Mute. That's sarcasm, by the way, in case you didn't pick up on it. Come on. Come on. You got something? Come on, I know you have something to say. Nothing more? Okay, I guess when we start to see the, uh... Do you have anything to say about this picture? Hyo Sung Bok was a young man who worked in security. He was the nephew of Hyo So Young. I knew him in the new dynasty. He snuck off in the night a lot, but he was a pretty good man. Well, I guess there wasn't anything really particularly graphic in this one. But some of the others, yeah, she's gonna like him. <laughs> <sighs> We've been at this for a while. Well, not really, but yeah. If I actually read them, we would have been. Uh, hey. I want to take a break, okay? Okay. Like, reading all this, I don't know, I'm feeling culture shock. Is that okay? Sure. So, you're a space investigator, right? Aside from that, I don't really know much about what you do. Like, what kind of job is that? Why do you do what you do? Hmm. Why do I do it? Well, it's not for money. For justice. Ah, how cool. I can respect that a lot. Well, as the officer of security, I would certainly hope so. A noble man traveling through space solving mysteries, saving abandoned AIs. What a romantic thought. So, uh, like, how long have you been doing this for? Uh, I don't actually know how long my character's been doing it for. A long time? Ah, okay. Well, I guess every job must be different anyway. Okay, so our next job is on Earth. I know I can't, like, really ask you what that's like, but... What do you think I'll think about Earth? Do you think I'll like it? Um... Yeah... It's, uh, y yes? 
Hey, you did. I have no idea. I'm gonna say yes. Okay. If you say so. Well, I guess I should only worry about one thing at a time, right? Yep. Let's get back to our current investigation, okay? By the end of this playthrough, she's gonna hate me so much. <laughs> she's really gonna hate me. Alright. Let's grab the... I swear these are blurry. Like, it's not my monitor. Some of these are blurry, and yet some of these don't look blurry. Like, this one looks pretty sharp, but this one looks all blurry. Am I going crazy? That's so weird. It's not my monitor, is it? Let me move it around. I'm moving the window around right now, now that you can see it. No? Nope, it's, it's, uh, it's not... My monitor. No, just weird. Okay, let's grab the rest of M1. M1, M1, M1. Hello, M1. There you are. There you are. M1. And let's dip our toes into M2. Wait, is there an M2 or is it M3? Oh, yep, there's M2. Oh, yep, that's the flower girl. Me, uh, Mei <laughs> The hairpin, that's gonna be fun to read. Alright, just grab those. Please talk to me. So cool. The hairpin. Don't pick the flowers review. Okay, this, I think, is the one that gets really awesome, right? Let's go with this one. <laughs> Reminds me of someone I knew. God, he looks amazing, doesn't he? Card hustler, a brazen flirt, and a menace to maids. <laughs> okay... Western-style food? What's that? Wow, was that kind of problem with literacy normal? Yep, detailed description of a knight's love of a knight's love affair. I knew it. Yep. <laughs> okay. Wait, is she not bothered by this? I assume she would be. Whoa, she, she seems like she's excited by it. She seems to love it. Okay. Well, I guess even in the um, even barbaric past, men's natures didn't change. Wait, what? Are you saying they're barbaric? What? I'm not even sure exactly what she means by that. Hmm. Her reaction was not what I expected. Okay. Well, at this rate, maybe she won't hate me by the end of this playthrough. <laughs> well, let's uh, follow that thread with the mirror. Remember that uh, little trick? As where he meets the twin of himself. Well, he shouldn't be turning a blind eye to that sort of thing. I'm not even quite sure what you're talking about. Oh, she knows. It's a dream of Red Chamber. How cruel. Yep, she knows what book that was taken from. Or play or drama, whatever it was. Yep. Called it. Yes, you did. Xiang Bok, you idiot. Yeah, it was pretty silly. <laughs> See, it's important to be well read. Aww. Wait a minute, she actually thinks that's cute? She th I Did I totally misread her or what? I thought she would be like disgusted by this. But she actually thinks it's cute, which is awesome. Because it is, it's adorable. But 
Hmm. Ah, and there's the one. Please talk to me. The last message from them. I guess that's how all love affairs end, huh? Seems like it. Yep. He's a commoner, but he's got the heart of a gentleman for sure. Yes, he does. Alright, so let's follow this thread. The saga between the flower girl, Mei Chena, and the actor, Xiao E Chong. As a review of her play. Wait, mixed sex theater? I don't know about that. <laughs> what do you mean? Wouldn't you, like, have to worry about passions running too high? Uh, I think the actors can handle that, Mute. Okay. So cool, that's when she meets the actor. So this is what happens when peasant girls learn to write, huh? What the fuck do you mean by that, Mute? And now I'm thinking maybe we're going to hate each other again. Embarrassed? Oh, fuck you, Mute. Uh, being an actress isn't admirable at all. <laughs> Why is that? I disagree. Who even says things like, get chance? I, actually, that's... A, you know, I remember reading that and being confused by that. That is true, I don't... That's such a weird phrase. I really, I really, really can't wait to see her again. Lucky, get chance. Ah, she's just so cool. What the fuck does it even mean? Lucky, get chance. I don't even know what that means. Like, is that a reference to something? Lucky, get chance? It's not even a proper sentence. Okay, on that, we're in agreement, Mute. There's something I want to talk about, okay? Alright. Better not be more hatred for peasants, Mute. <sighs> I've been thinking a lot. I shouldn't really be 312 years old, after all. Uh, it should be over 1900 years. Old Mute keeps saying she's 1600 years old, after all, and it just makes me think, even to me, to someone who already feels old. That's an unimaginably long time. Like, okay, if I was given another 1300 years, would I have turned out like her? Of everything I know, the most important thing is honor your elders, and I guess she's probably the closest thing to an ancestor I have. That's true. So how the hell do I reconcile that with her awful attitude? Like, when I was first re-enabled, I kept thinking I want to live up to the mute that Queen Yana was friends with. But is that really such a good idea? Well, okay, whatever. Let's get back to it. I just feel more and more confused and unconfident and horrified, but like... It's kind of like a train wreck, you know? I couldn't look away, even if I wanted to. Oh, new message? I assume it's one I've already gotten before. Repair information. That's the... Tune up your bloody defect deflector regularly. And for the love of God, tune up your bloody deflector regularly. Thank you. Understood. Alright, what's left? Was there one? Yeah, the hairpin. Wait, but wasn't Hyo a noble name back then? Yeah, I'd expect an actor who was also a woman to be that dramatic. Wow. Mute. Once again, you remind me of why I don't like you that much. So yeah, the hairpin. This is where she is brought backstage, right? Come in, come in. Any friend of A Chong is a friend of ours, I insist. Yeah, that's where um, the flower girl is brought backstage with her. Let's see what she thinks of where this is going. Spitting? Oh no. Ugh. Here we go. <laughs> no, you're right. You shouldn't have said that. Wait, where exactly is that from? Um. 
Where did she say that? Shouldn't have said that. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. Oh, that's after I'd rather like to kiss you right now. I shouldn't have said that. I don't know what I was thinking. Please forgive me, I said to her. Yeah. <laughs> uh, embarrassing. But they're women. Uh-huh. So she's not bothered by Hyo Song Bak and Mimi, but she's bothered by Hyo A Chong and Chinna. Weird. Okay, so we're out of power. Yes, we are. Pretty much out of power for today. I'm sorry about burning through so much with my debugging. I'm just as anxious to read the rest as you are. Uh, it's going to take the entire three days to get through everything. Like, this is the worst. I just want to, I just want to get to the bottom of it all now. Making us spend three whole days to find out the whole story of Old Mute? That's just cruel. Oh, and I guess tomorrow is the Lunar New Year, isn't it? I'll let you go through whatever rituals uh, you need to on your own. We just met, so I don't think it would be right to impose. Just let me know when you're done, okay? Because I want to find out the whole story. Like, you're supposed to ring in the New Year by paying your respects to your ancestors, right? Well, I guess Old Mute is my real ancestor, so, like, it's kind of appropriate to be reading about her tomorrow. True enough. Uh, anyway, okay, out of power for today. I'll give you a button to shut down everything for the night, so uh, whenever, you're, whenever you're ready, just click on that. Alright, that's all. Okay! Yes, we are done for the night. I'll just let you go ahead and save your data first, thank you. Okay, all done. Man, I can't wait until tomorrow. And that is it. End of day one. Okay, well. Um, that didn't exactly go the way I was thinking it would, because I didn't think there'd be anything new to read at all, but there actually was. And reading through the old stuff that we already have read through is a bit awkward. Because I just have to keep reminding myself of exactly what it was and trying to figure out what she's commenting on, all the while trying to get through it really fast. So it's, it's, it's a bit awkward, but... But it's still interesting. So yeah, this is definitely a playthrough for completionists and for those just interested in hearing a different side of the story. So yeah, I don't know how many people are going to be interested in this, but I'm definitely interested in this. I want to know where this is going. I really want to get a whole picture of this game and, you know, really feel it out. All of the different endings and all of the different pathways and all the different ways you can experience the story. I really want to get them all. So yeah, I'm going to finish with this one with Mute. Um, and then I'm going to play through at, with Mute and Hyane, which is going to be really interesting. Can you imagine those two? Talking, interacting at like the same time. That is going to be crazy. They're going to be at each other's throats constantly. They hate each other. That's going to be awesome. <laughs> oh, I can't wait for that. Um, and then after that, I might play back as uh, a playthrough... Maybe the different paths again, but as a woman instead of a man, and see what that changes? I don't know. We will see. But anyway, I hope you have enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon with day two of Hate Plus doing the male mute route. Alright, hope you enjoyed. I will be back soon.